let's talk about the inbox. The inbox is the audio interface that comes with our Pro Tools software. Now, it's important to realize that without the inbox, the Pro Tools LE software will not launch. It's hardware dependent. The software is always looking for the inbox in order for it, it has to be connected to the computer. So if you're going somewhere with a laptop, say, and you're working on your Pro Tools session, you have to make sure that you bring your inbox with you, or else you won't be able to open up your, your sessions. The inbox itself has two inputs and two outputs. It has, has a couple of inputs, but it will record two tracks at the same time. There are inputs for microphones, and there is an onboard microphone preamp for each of those inputs. Uh, the preamp has adjustable gain. It has a pad, which will basically uh, lessens the, the amount of range. So if you have a really loud sound source, you can engage the pad, which basically softens that source. Uh, it also has a, a direct input, a DI input, and an instrument input. So we have three basic connections for each of the two channels. Uh, when we're looking at the front of the inbox, you will notice uh, on the left-hand side, we have the headphone monitor uh, knob that basically controls the amount of volume that's going to our headphone. To the right of that, we have the monitor. The monitor is basically what feeds the quarter-inch output monitors on the rear. So that would typically be connected to your monitor setup or your speakers. Uh, and that knob will control the overall volume that's coming out of your inbox. The knob next to that is labeled mix. Now the mix allows us to, it's a variable switch between uh, pre-computer and post-computer. Meaning if I connect something like my MFB synthesizer here, if I connect that into my input, if I move my mix button all the way to the left, I will hear just the input that's coming into my inbox. If I move this all the way to the right, I won't hear anything because my this has not been set up to go through the software. So the playback is all the way to the right. The input pre-computer pre is all the way to the right. What this allows us to do is be able to monitor and we can adjust the mix level between the playback and the live input that's coming in. That way we can hear what we've recorded previously and also play along to it. To the right of that, we have a mono switch, which allows us to switch uh, mono and stereo in terms of our monitoring. Since this is a monophonic synthesizer and I have it connected to input two on my M-Box, if I didn't have the, the mono switch on, I would only be hearing the MFB in my right speaker. So if I want to hear it in stereo, even though it's a mono synth, I need to have the mono button engaged. It's called full mono. It will uh, puts it in both speakers or both ears. To the right of that, uh, you'll see we're getting into the actual pre preamp function, uh, and it says 48 volts. That is what we call phantom power. 48 volt charge, it's typically used to power a condenser microphone. There's different types of microphones. Dynamic microphones don't require any power, but they're not as sensitive as a condenser mic. Condenser mic requires a 48 volt charge. So we can turn that on and actually be able to charge up our microphones, our high quality condenser microphones, and be able to use them. Uh, and then you'll see a couple other knobs. Those knobs are the input gain for each of our channels. And then again, we have the pad and then the input select, whether it's mic or direct injection, DI. The inbox coupled with the Pro Tools LE software is a high quality, low cost entry into hard disk recording.